Yeah. Grab a shovel from Gorm's storehouse. No, it is a rotten place, that storehouse. Have you seen it? <laughs> a bloody mess. If it's a mess, then clean it, dung brain. He beat Olaf bad, thrashed him and locked him away in the storehouse. You know why? Because Olaf stole from Gorm and got caught. You're not stealing, are you? No, no. Good. Now less whining, more working. Gorum storehouse. A good place to start. Those two carry themselves like leaders. friends do you do we do we understand one another oya kanya tera keronu jokno hoda tiga de giga yungwe do any of you speak norse or saxon zazade gwat giga yungwe yate de wayanderi yate yungwe yhri ze onadini toditni gunra di hantos ne gan Giga odzidaa wa onatsi ne giga yungwe tigade nat ne e this is sunen a name means insight yanja dahawe giga tinue oya ganyatara keronu itres danu ahinasku ahoya dagenha toka ahuna darohage giga Soon and you made us some friends. These huts, clothes. Am I in Midgather still? Waterfalls are places of power in the old sagas. Giga oya ganyatera keheronu rodaska. Nine days I hung in the tree. Nine days. You hear me? There is a language I know well, but the words are mind sick. Zatunde gatiga, roja datku, zatsetsant doga askweni, tone era anjata hawite nega. Then I threw my eye in the well. This wisdom sounds like the ranting of a seer. Who are you? Olaf, I am. Olaf. Called the unlucky, but don't you believe it? And where is, uh... Promise you will do it quick. What? Do not stab me from behind, Drengur. Like Sigurd and the dragon. Please. I'm not here to kill you. I've come for Gorm. N not not here to kill me? Not today. Oh, stay clear of Gorm, then. He's not a good man, not a good man at all. Why would you need to see such a terrible man? It is a matter of honor. Gorm owes me a great debt. Let's leave it at that. Oh, good. Yes. Yes, honor is good. Olaf will help you. Olaf will help you so much. Honor is the only thing. Yes, the only thing. I saw signs of a struggle at your camp. Did something happen between you and Gorm? Nothing to speak of. He, um, did not care for me trading with the villagers here. Beat me and put me in chains. I slipped away free. Not so unlucky, am I? Still alive, yes. Still alive. Good. Point me toward Gorm. Not possible. He is away, far away at the camps in these woods. All well guarded. Might be at anyone. Why camps? Is he settling here? Or searching for something? 
Searching, yes. Always searching, and never finding the mean, mean background. And how do I find these camps? I can show you. Follow, follow, follow. Olaf, would you tell me something? Anything Olaf can tell, Olaf will tell my new and big friend. Why would Gorm cross the sea to this nameless wilderness? It seems a great risk for so little. Gorm carries with him a crystal that talks. It tells him where to go and what to do. A talking crystal? It is true. The elf stone tells him to seek, and so he seeks. And when it says dig, he digs. Such a mystery. What is he digging for? <laughs> that is a mystery he will not tell. <laughs> But my guess is the best guess. He seeks the door to Jotunheim. <laughs> look! Out across the river. One of Gorm's camps. All look like that. All of them. They are well guarded, you say? Oh, yes. By fierce men. Warriors who attack any stranger on sight. Anyone. And they are all well armed. Not like you. As well equipped as a stable hand. <laughs> it does not take much to kill a man. But sharp steel helps. Oh, yes. You're not wrong. I could use better weapons. Olaf will help. Gather ore and hides to barter for war gear. Ore and hides? I can find out there? Yes. Yes! Some in the woods, much more at Gorm's camps, than traded all with the people here. Easy as a smile. Yes. Yes. I don't understand the language. Can you translate for me? <laughs> no need, no. We talk with signs. Just walk up to a trader and start trading. Take this. Some goods to get you started. Thank you for this, Olaf. And until I say otherwise, speak nothing of this to anyone. Might be a good idea to trade, now that I'm here. He seems eager to trade goods and wits. You want me to... to eat these? Our friends healed me with their berries. I'm grateful. Yes, yes. And elderberries have a good taste, too. And good for you. I feel much better. Do these elderberries grow wild around here? Yes, yes. All through the land. Here and there. This is not the whole of 500 doors. This is not the Rock of the Fallen. Where are the women on the winged horses? Where are the 
choosers of the slain! You, my blood enemy! This is Niflheim, the hell of mist and cold. This is where the faithless dead come to die again. This is where ghosts fade to mist to be forgotten. Your meddling has doomed us all, Crow of Battle. More lies from a liar born. Now speak the truth. What brought the Order to this place? To free a goddess. A creature of power and light. Buried by the Jotna in ages past. A pity, Gorm. You will not meet her now. Gorm's crystal eye. It hums with a strange feeling. Unearthly. What was Gorm digging for? Something deep inside this cave. Olaf should know his tormentor is dead. I owe him that much. No need to hide now, Olaf. Gorm is dead. Gorm? Dead? Uh, by your hand? He paid a bloody price for broken honor. I will not say more. Return to your sister. Oh, I will. Yet I would first join the villagers at their fire. They tell stories and I like to listen. Though I do not hear. Story time? Telling sagas of their own? Yes, yes! They tell stories. Yes, come, listen. Zokki. Rarondunde. Wasagohorori. Neyotzi zizu. Waharu, how, toyedene, zinue rodiskara gete, junk quiro tawani. Dehni zaruki, totni dagwe. Ya dehni ganare, ziosumwaya, danu aquegu, gasumwa hunzi. Yot zi zizu, ya goda dene gwa the wagu, danu rarondo de, ya sumne, yerde de. Zokki, o sumwagu, ya untke doda, ahyarek, dogatka negre. Tunda ya wasi, rarondo de, ya sagorege. O sumwagu, ya ea da ne, ne yotzi zizu. Zi wa agoya da haje, wa ea na hadu, zi na hoda wa egweni. Nia dega derege. Ya ehoe, zi ya ea da ne, zi da jutsu wagardas. Gods, Gahnaraga, Dagwagara do us. I do not understand. want me to tell a story. All right, let me think. A story of betrayal, of selfish malice, and of gods who act as spoiled children. Of all our many gods, it is Odin who is the most revered. He is the All-Father, the High One, the Wise King. But for all his glories, he can also be the most elusive of his kind. Selfish, solitary, stubborn, even cruel. 
In days long gone, it came to pass that Odin's son Balder died suddenly, felled by his only weakness, mistletoe. Believing his son's death an accident, Odin sent a message to the Jotun, Hel, asking her to return his beautiful boy to life. Hel agreed, but on one condition. Only if every living creature in the Nine Worlds shed a loving tear for Balder. At once, Odin sent word to every corner of the world, asking all to weep for his beloved boy. And all did. At one. A Jotun named Thok refused to cry for Balder. Let Hel keep what she has received, Thok said with malice. And that was that. Balder was gone forever. Send on a funeral ship across the sea, buried in Midgadir, amid trees and rocks. What Odin did not know is that Thok was none other than the trickster Loki in disguise. A god he knew as a friend. Worse still, it was Loki who led Balder to his death by a sprig of mistletoe. All these tricks and feints Loki had conceived. Some say it was in Loki's nature to be so cruel. Others argue it was revenge for deeds done by Odin to Loki and his children. There is a third view, that all these acts kind and cruel, were sown long ago in the pattern of their lives. That we are not the authors of our own destiny, but only its readers. And that we... Oh. <laughs> that we should fight against this view, for it is deeply unwelcome. Anguagara duha se ne at nowara raugara. Nene o niot ti wat hadet noya ge. Gorum brought this stone across the whale road for a strange purpose. I do not know why, but it seems to belong to this land. Yos gods. Gwa. Ras nu sage. Wat neat da herde. Dagwa weird it go? Take it. And guard it. Maybe that one day you will know its purpose. Thank you. Each of you, for all you have done. Aya Watski, yet he sought Hogungaha, Ayeza Harada, Gahnaraga. Of Jorvik. You shirked your work for quite some time. Yora is no more. My name is Eivor, a Drenger of the Raven Clan. My purpose is fulfilled. Purpose? <laughs> what purpose? Gorm is dead! The troll is dead! Olaf! Sister, let us celebrate! Gorm Kötveson is no more. Slain by Eivor Ravenfriend. Eivor Forest Rider. Eivor Olavusseler. 
What is this? I had a long-standing blood feud with Gorm and his clan. It is now laid to rest. Oh, the skulls will sing of this day. How Eivor traveled far and wide, hunting Gorm along the world's rim. Songs or not, Gorm is dead. Now I suggest you leave this place. There is no purpose for us here. I... I do not disagree. Gordon was a madman and a troll indeed. But he paid us in silver and that was enough. Brother, are you well? I feared the worst for you. I am well, yes. Oh, so well. And I may stay to linger one season or two with the friends I have made. As you wish, brother. And you, Eivor, where will you go? Across the sea with us, or back into the woods? I will sail with you. Let's go. Take care of yourself, Olaf. In this life, and the next. Goodbye. Goodbye. Far whence the whale rode before me. Dark are the deeds that brought me here. Fate may bind my bones to this land, but for now, I walk the sea. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys. According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. I will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution. Perhaps because... Lord! Ah! A heroic-looking Dane in our midst. I am looking for Beerstan, the elderman of this shire. Our lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs, in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn, beer Stan. His household is as poorly run as his lands. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. My sweater runner's a worthy woman, you coxcomb. But she's an excellent cook. With a fine nose for truffles. If Beerstan does not return soon, Wine will not be the only thing spilled upon his floors. Now, gentlemen, everyone is fractious with this waiting. Let us be civil at least. At one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. 
I am weary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I will remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck he hasn't been eaten, but I will return either way. is a godly virtue, Adrian. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. They were caught off guard as they supped. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. Beast. Something strong enough to kill a horse. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Beeston still lives. Survey the area sooner. or accept your fate as a feast for bears. Do not let them charge you. This is one Saxon you won't kill today. without you you have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril perhaps you were god sent i am estrid sent your wife and the thanes of essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil when do they not you could return and report that the savage claw took me poor beerstan his exit pursued by a bear and make the beast lord of essex in your stead No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. We lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. 
They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There is pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping your things in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Beeston. My hand would rather tug the catgut of a well-crafted bow, my eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, a crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about your Beeston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You must mark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Dor. I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people. Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and stalking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. It may be I can speed your business along. Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adred, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beeston. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Are they men or babes? If Alfred meddles in the affairs of Essex, send his men home in shrouds. Ah, we should challenge his right to rule. Was not Essex once a thriving kingdom of its own? We should fight! Yes, fight! And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? He should put his own ham fist in his purse and contribute coin to the festival. Yes! You worry about the cost of such a festival, one that thanks God for our great harvest. Uh, contribute your own coin, then. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adrid does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The feared. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Do they not defend your land? You'll need all the men you can muster to fight the coming wars. The Danes are a great threat when provoked. Those we cannot ally with, we must fight or lose our lands. There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, Beerstan. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. 
Be gone! I haven't time for your squabbling. That ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Bjirsten. Whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Bjirsten. Are you not worried some other man will drench her sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I am too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Does your god not allow husbands and wives to part? Our god? Our king? There is much standing in the way of a joyous uncoupling. Ours was an arranged marriage, a political need, and not easily broken. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Frankia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Frankia would need a swift ship, with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Eivor. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Eivor. The only thing that keeps my braying thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Alvida, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pear. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Malden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? Uh -huh. Uh -huh.